Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is the part one of the solution of nanometrial and application of question 2021. Today, we want to discuss question number one A to G. You can see this is the question paper question number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This will be covered up in part by part. Today, we want to discuss question number one only. In question number 1a, question says what is the range of dimension of nanoparticles? Actually, nanoparticles dimension is not fixed. That means, uh, if a particle size is uh, 10 nanometer, it not mean it's nanoparticle. Actually, <clears throat> the property of nanoparticle is different from the property of bulk material. That is, when you reduce the size of the particle from its bulk material, uh, at a certain range of its dimension, the property of this bulk material change. This dimension is known as the dimension of nanoparticle. And it's the average value from 10 nanometer to 100 nanometer. It's not mean that the 110 nanometer is a bulk material. No, it's depend on its property. If the property of this particle with the size of 110 nanometer is different from its bulk material, then also it is called nanomaterial you are you can see the nanomaterial of size 300 nanometer also but the main thing is that its property will be changed from its bulk material so generally this dimension is 10 to 100 nanometer but it's not restricted within that region main things is the property of the nanomaterial must be defined from the property of the bulk material Next question says, what are the major difference between the electrical conduction at the nano macro scale and nano scale? In the macro scale, the electrical uh, conduction is obey the Ohm's law. They are continuous curve in the VI curve. But in case of the nano scale, these continuous curve change into discrete curve. Uh, that is the uh, conduction happening with the nano wire the electron passes uh, when, when a single electron passes through the wire the next pass is not counted after completion its pass then the next pass will next pulse will be obtained that's why these are in the discrete form next question say an x-ray beam of wavelength is diffracted by a cubic kcl Crystal calculating the glancing angle of second order from this plane or the interplanar spacing is like that. So from Bragg's law, you know, do t times theta equals to n lambda. Lambda is the wavelength of the diffraction is given here. Uh, D is the interplanar spacing and theta is the glancing angle or n is the order of reflection. If you put this value easily, you find that glancing angle is third in degree. Next question so that the quantum size effect becomes overs, observable if the condition is like that. You know from the uncertainty principle delta Px and Px is less than equal to h cross. So delta uh, x is less than equal to h cross by Px and P is nothing but the root under 2 Me and E is the half uh, kVt. So finally you will obtain this. Uh, you know from the equipartition of energy, a, a, a energy in every... <coughs> Sorry, energy in every degree of freedom is half kVt. So if you compare, you will be get the P is root under m kVt. Put this value, you will be obtained. This this size actually observable for the quantum effect. Next thing, what do you mean by quasi particle? Quasi particle means is differ from the real particle with the property. That means in a real particle, the property will be changed in the quasi particle. For example, exciton. Exciton is nothing but the pair of electron and hole when a hole and electron generated generally they, they, they are separate out but sometimes they are paired that means they move together this is called quasi particle whose property uh, like that um, effective mass or other um, velocity effective mass are, are, are differ from the real particle uh, another example is phonon phonon is also a uh, quasi particle where its uh, velocity will be differ and it cannot exist in the free space also it, it transfer from one crystal to another crystal uh, you know in in atom or in real particle can exist in a real, uh, free space but phonon cannot exist in the real space uh, in free space so these are the quasi particle 
and this is different from the real particle with this property. Next question says the golden color of gold particle is lost in nano dimension. Actually, when you reduce the size of nanoparticle, its uh, band gap also change, and this changed band gap uh, reflects in optical property, and that's why the reflection of the light is golden color change into the red color. So, this is the uh, cause why this uh, golden color lost in the golden particle because of the uh, change in the band gap of this nanoparticle. Next is the what are the key point of operation of single electron transistor. Single electron transistor means there is a quantum dot where this uh, where the electron transfer through the triangling process after after a certain value it's block that's been the current is zero. So before um, Coulomb blockade effect the electron transfer through this quantum dot in a single at a time one single electron passes through this quantum dot through by by, by the uh, tunneling effect quantum tunneling effect you know the quantum tunneling effect so after the uh, 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 through the tunneling effect I, I want to write down this point through quantum tunneling effect Down time effect. So these are the <coughs> major things uh, to know about the <coughs> ACT single electron transistor. So that's it for today. This is all about me. This is my contact detail and this is my YouTube channel details. So thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Next, so, 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 so.